Congratulations on the purchase of your new Chrysler LeBaron convertible, one of the best-selling open-air automobiles in America. You've made an outstanding move by purchasing this luxurious car because LeBaron has a lot more to offer than just great looks. It also happens to be equipped with some of the most sophisticated automotive technology in the world. In fact, all 1995 Chrysler vehicles are the sum total of more than 70 years of engineering expertise and innovative thinking. This orientation video is geared to help you get the most out of your car's special features. And while much of this information applies to all LeBaron convertibles, some features may or may not apply to the particular model you've purchased. Keep in mind that this program is not meant to be a substitute for your owner's manual, so make sure you take the time to carefully read all of the information you've received. In addition to the owner's manual, you'll also find a LeBaron product tips card in your glove compartment that covers most of the same information shown in this video. Use it as a handy reference whenever the need arises. Finally, we ask that you fill out and return the response card that came with this videotape so that we may better serve you in the future. Now, without further delay, let's get this show on the road. You should be secure in the knowledge that your LeBaron convertible is equipped with both driver and front passenger airbags for the added protection of both front seat occupants. The driver's airbag is mounted in the steering wheel and the passenger's is located on the top right side of the instrument panel just above the glove compartment. Keep in mind that you should always buckle up even though your new car has dual airbags. Airbags only deploy in frontal collisions at speeds above 14 miles per hour and should therefore be considered supplements to the seat belt restraint system. In addition to seat belts and airbags, child restraints are another important part of your total safety system. You're reminded that rear-facing child seats used for babies weighing less than 20 pounds are for rear seat use only. Never use a rear-facing child seat in a front seat or your child could be seriously injured if struck by a deploying airbag. Infant and child restraints are secured in the car seats by the lap belt or the lap part of the lap shoulder belt. And Chrysler seat belts have unique cinching latch plates that hold belts tight around restraints without needing an additional locking clip that many other vehicles require. For information regarding the proper use of all child restraints and for complete details about seat belts and airbags, read the appropriate sections of your owner's manual carefully and refer to the information located on the LeBaron Sun Visor. When it comes to driving, safety is always the first consideration, and this applies even to LeBaron's fun features such as the weather-resistant power convertible top. So it's important that you follow these three rules when operating this top quality equipment. Whenever you want to operate the convertible top, make sure that you're at a complete stop with the gear selector in the park position and the ignition turned on. Next, make sure to lower all four windows four inches or more. This will ensure easier latching and unlatching and maintain critical weather seals. Finally, clear the top storage area of debris and other items in order to avoid damage to the top and rear window. Now you're ready to begin lowering the top. Notice that at the front, the headliner is attached to the folding top with Velcro fasteners. This must be separated before lowering can commence. Start by pulling the front of the headliner toward you to expose the latch handles. Next. Release the folding top from the windshield header by pulling both latch handles rearward until the latch hooks are free. Now, press the convertible top power switch down in order to disengage the top pins from the header. It's located on LeBaron's console. As soon as the top is free and a few inches above the windshield, release the power switch and reclose both latch handles. This will help prevent damage to the top cover, also known as the boot. Finally, press the down power switch again until the top is fully retracted. If you wish to install the boot to protect the convertible top and enhance LeBaron's top-down appearance, here's what you do. After completely lowering the top, turn the ignition off and walk to the back of the car. Lift the boot by its front end and rotate it toward the middle of the vehicle. This will expose a tab that is attached to the rear of the cover. Insert this tab into the slot found along the forward edge of the bright belt molding and push the boot rearward to ensure a complete fit. Now pull the latch lever forward toward the front end of the car and push the boot retainer into the recess. 
then release the lever to secure the retainer in place. Next, push the side flaps down to engage the boot's fastening hooks under the lower edge of the car's molding. Now, move to the other side of your car and repeat these steps. When you're done, push the boot's plastic tab into the channel running behind the entire length of the rear seat and hook the retaining clips over the car's rear molding. When you need to remove the boot, again start on one side of the car and begin by pushing the side flaps down to disengage the fastening hooks from the car's molding. Then, while holding the boot with one hand, pull the latch lever forward with your other hand. Lift the boot retainer out of the recess and then release the lever. Pull the boot's rear tab from its slot and push forward while twisting upward to remove the boot from the rear seat channel. Push the retaining hooks rearward and twist upward to remove them from the rear molding. Then repeat the same steps on the other side of your vehicle. Finally, don't forget to fold the boot and return it to your trunk. Installing and removing the LeBaron Convertible's boot will require a little finesse, so make sure that you carefully follow the instructions contained on the removable illustration found on the trunk carpet or outlined in your owner's manual. Here's what you do when you want to raise the top. Again, make sure you're at a complete stop and the gear selector is in park. If you installed the boot, unfasten it and store it back in your trunk. Then, make sure the ignition is turned on and lower all of the windows at least four inches. Next, press the convertible top power switch up. As your convertible top moves overhead, but before it reaches the windshield header, release the power switch and open both front latch handles. Continue powering up until the two pins that are located under the front edge of the top align themselves above the windshield with the receptacles in the header. Now, pull the top completely down Hook the driver latch hook to the receptacle that's located in the upper left of the windshield and close the latch. Then repeat this step on the passenger side and reattach the headliner at the front and sides. Finally, make sure you raise your rear windows first and the front windows second in order to ensure the best possible seal. light switch for the LeBaron convertible is found on the top left side of the instrument panel switch module, immediately to the right of the parking light switch. Pressing the headlight switch once turns the headlights and the parking lights on. A light bulb symbol will illuminate on the instrument cluster above the temperature gauge and remind you that your lights are on. When you wish to turn your lights off, just press the headlight switch a second time. The high beam switch is located on the turn signal stock and is engaged by pulling the entire stock toward you. Your car has also been equipped with a headlight time delay safety feature that allows you to keep your headlights on for up to 60 seconds after leaving the car. This is especially useful if you're forced to park in an unlighted area. To activate this feature, switch off the ignition while the headlights are still turned on. Then, press the headlight switch off. Notice that the lights remain lit for the next 60 seconds, after which they will automatically switch off. Your windshield wiper control is also located on the instrument panel switch module, but on the right side, just below the windshield washer switch. The control has three speeds, delay, low, and high and you can select between them by sliding the control up or down. The delay feature is especially useful when pausing of the wiper is desirable, such as during light rain or mist conditions. To delay the wipers for a maximum 15 seconds, slide the control to the lower portion of the delay range. To decrease the delay time to a minimum of two seconds between cycles, slide the control upward toward the low continual speed setting. The LeBaron Convertible's state-of-the-art audio system includes a host of outstanding features that are covered in complete detail in the Chrysler Sound Systems Manual. But let's take a few moments to discuss some of the highlights. First, let's see how to set the clock. With the ignition and radio turned on and the clock time displayed, use a pointed object, such as the tip of a ballpoint pen, to press down the small buttons located to the right of the H and M. 
momentarily pressing down on the buttons, adjusts the clock slowly forward by single increments. Holding them down, fast forwards the numbers. Once you stop pressing the buttons, the clock will automatically store the time that you've set and normal clock operation will resume. Now let's run through one of the important radio features. Assigning your favorite radio stations to the memory push buttons located along the bottom of the audio system. Your radio can memorize a total of 20 stations by assigning two AM and two FM frequencies to each of the five push buttons. But you only have access to 10 AM or 10 FM stations at any one time. That's because this button is used to toggle between AM and FM and determines which of the two is active. For now, let's see how to program stations found on the FM band. Push the AM-FM button to the FM position. Pressing the Set button, located to the left of the display, once, accesses Set 1 for programming stations 1 through 5. Pressing it twice accesses Set 2 for programming stations 6 through 10. To commit a station to memory, simply tune to a desired station and then push the Set button. You will notice the words Set 1 displayed on the radio. Immediately press one of the numbered push buttons and the station will be assigned to that position. If you want to assign stations to positions 6 through 10, simply press the set button twice until you see set 2 on the display. Then assign the stations by again pressing the numbered push buttons. To recall the stations that you've set, simply press the numbered push buttons once to access the five stations programmed to the set 1 level and twice for the five stations programmed to the set two level. Accessing your car's rear seat should never be a hassle, and the LeBaron convertible makes it easy with a front passenger seat that moves forward or rearward without using the seat adjustment lever. All you do is fold the seat forward, and it automatically moves up to provide a clear path to the rear. It's as simple as that. There's no button to push or handle to unlatch. When you're ready to move the seat back, simply slide it rearward, return the seat back to its upright position, and the seat cushion locks safely back into place on the track. An important safety feature that's been incorporated into your front seat backs are inertia locking mechanisms that automatically prevent the seats from folding forward during periods of high deceleration, such as hard braking. In some instances, for example when parking on a steep incline, the mechanisms may lock up and you will need to release them manually. Just push up on the release levers and move the seat backs fore and aft until the mechanisms unlock. Your LeBaron convertible is furnished with a specially marked valet key that can only operate the door locks and ignition. This security key should be given to parking lot attendants or used at service facilities so that the security of your car's storage areas will be protected. By now, you've recognized that your LeBaron convertible has some very sophisticated features. But even advanced technology can't work to its full potential unless you take care of regularly scheduled service, such as maintaining proper tire pressure. It's always a good idea to check tire pressure immediately after taking delivery of any new car so that you get used to its ride under optimum conditions. Then, check tire pressure at least once a month, but even more frequently when outdoor temperatures vary widely. To achieve the optimal balance of ride smoothness and handling ease, always keep your tire's cold inflation pressure at 29 PSI. Cold inflation pressure means that the vehicle has not been driven for at least three hours or driven less than a mile after being parked for a three-hour period. Two forward courtesy map lights are located on the bottom of the inside rearview mirror. They act as courtesy lights whenever you enter or exit your car and also function as glare-free map lights. To activate the lights, push one or both of these switches until a white area is exposed. Forward map lights remain lit until their switches are completely returned to the off position. 
Keep this in mind because their glare-free light isn't always easy to notice and unnecessary battery drainage will occur if these lights are not switched off. Additional courtesy lamps are located in each door and at the rear console and will illuminate whenever you enter or exit your car. The optional trunk lock remote release allows you to unlock the trunk from inside the car and is located on the floor to the left of the driver's seat. Simply pull the lever and the trunk lid pops open. You can render the remote release inoperable for security purposes, such as when the interior is accessible to attendants using the valet key or when the top is down. All you have to do is move the lever that's built into the trunk lid latching mechanism to the lockout on position and then close the trunk lid. Let's take a look at some of the benefits that optional power door locks have to offer. As an added safety precaution, power door locks automatically engage whenever the transaxle is in gear, all of your doors are closed, and when acceleration reaches speeds above 15 miles per hour. They also contain a fail-safe feature that can help you avoid locking your keys in the car. Whenever the driver's door is opened, and as long as the keys are left in the ignition, the feature prevents the locks from engaging when you try to use the driver's side power door lock switch. A chime also sounds and reminds you to remove the keys before you shut and lock the doors. Your LeBaron convertible may be equipped with the remote keyless entry system that allows you to lock and unlock your doors from distances up to 23 feet. Remote keyless entry uses a key fob transmitter that need not be pointed at the vehicle in order to activate the system. To unlock the driver's door, simply press the unlock button once. To unlock both doors, press the unlock button twice within five seconds. Be sure to press firmly so that the system recognizes the proper signal. To lock both doors, press the lock button once. The doors will lock and the horn will chirp once. That's all there is to it. The remote keyless entry key fob does not, however, open your trunk. The optional anti-lock braking system, known as ABS, is designed to improve vehicle braking performance under less than optimal driving conditions. ABS works differently than conventional brakes by automatically pumping the brakes for you during severe braking conditions. So their performance takes a little bit of getting used to. But always remember that ABS works best when you let it do its job. Just press firmly on the brake pedal and let ABS do the pumping. You should never pump the pedal yourself because manual pumping makes ABS less effective. When ABS has been activated, it's normal to feel the brake pedal pulse and to hear some associated system noise. So don't be alarmed. Just press the brake pedal down firmly and let ABS do the work. Your car may be protected with a factory installed theft security system. If something triggers the alarm, the system sounds the horn for three minutes and then flashes the park and turn signal lights for the next 15 minutes. It also prevents the engine from being started. This security system automatically arms whenever you lock your doors with the power door locks or when the lock button is pressed on the optional remote keyless entry key fob transmitter. When setting the alarm, the alarm set light located on the instrument panel message center flashes for 15 seconds, confirming that the system is being armed. If the light comes on but does not flash, the system is still armed, but most likely a problem exists with either the hood or trunk circuits. If this occurs, please see your dealer for service. To disarm the system, Simply unlock either of the LeBaron's doors using a key or the remote keyless entry key fob transmitter. If the horn sounds three times after a door is unlocked, the system is alerting you that the alarm was activated and that the car should be inspected for tampering. Your LeBaron convertible may also be outfitted with electronic speed control. When engaged, this device takes over accelerator operation at speeds greater than 30 miles per hour. 
electronic speed control is accessed using the buttons located on your steering wheel. To activate the system, push the on-off switch to the on position. You'll notice that it remains pushed in. Then accelerate to your desired speed and lock it in by pressing and releasing the set button. The speed will then be maintained automatically after you release your foot from the accelerator. You can increase your speed using electronic speed control in increments of 2 miles per hour by tapping the Excel button. To slow your speed, press and hold the Decel button. To deactivate speed control without erasing the system's memory, tap the brake pedal softly or exert normal brake pressure while slowing down your car. Then, if you wish to restore the previously set speed, simply push and release the resume button at any speed above 25 miles per hour. You can also deactivate the system by pushing the on-off button to the off position or by turning the ignition off. But these methods erase the system's memory and eliminate the opportunity to use the resume feature. If you use electronic speed control, it's a good idea to get into the practice of totally switching the system off when not in use. That's done by pushing the on-off button to the off position, which will prevent the system from inadvertently triggering acceleration at inappropriate times. One word of advice about washing your LeBaron. Considering the nature of convertible tops and glass ceiling systems, avoid aiming high-pressure water streams directly at the convertible top and window weather seals. We hope that you've enjoyed this orientation video, and after seeing many of LeBaron Convertible's features up close, you're even more excited about driving across town or cross country in the top-down fashion you deserve. If you should run into any trouble with your car, rest easy, because 24-hour roadside assistance is automatically included with your warranty. All you have to do when you're in need of roadside assistance is call our hotline at 1-800-521-2779. For more information, refer to the Roadside Assistance Information Guide that's contained in your owner's manual packet or contact your dealer. Well, what are you waiting for? Why not get out there into the open air and treat yourself to an exciting driving experience? Oh, and don't forget to bring your shades.